I don't even know what to say. It's disheartening. It's um, yeah. a great setback because we have worked a lot, man. and it had taken us two years. And uh, beyond the two years, that's open to everybody that we called matter from the issue. And uh, we got support. It's uh, very painful to find out that all of them, none survived. Uh, we're, we're just uh, too disappointed, uh, too unhappy. Uh, I believe there will be some other people. Not even the smallest one. Ten women out of ministers. Not even that fast. And that shows you how our gender is valued in this entity called Nigeria. It's a sad commentary on how people place us as the female gender. And I pray that does not continue. Because if it does, it will be a disservice to people coming behind. What would you say if it has so much rallying and um, now the outcome is unfavorable? Well, I think the men were just set on what they wanted to do. And it was tough. Only a few of them supported us. Only a few of them. And God knows why. Because most of them have very special daughters. Daughters who have done very well. And daughters who have made them proud. Mm -hmm. uh, daughters who have done so well and have grown in the system. And yet, they couldn't vote. But the simplest thing, their future. Mm -hmm. Because the future is in the woman. The woman is an epitome of the future, is a representative of what the future will be. When we don't look after the nation, the nation is at risk. And if you don't also give to that group, then uh, we're not taking care of them. Would you say culture or region has affected um, the, the voting pattern? It, it's very disappointing. I think everything has. It mm -hmm. I think it's just, um, it, it, it's just, confusing because everything has added up and that's where we are again and uh, we'll make ourselves a laughing stock in the committee of nations and that is not good for Nigeria.